All right, so in this video, I wanted to cover a uh, reloading technique for the Spaz 12, help bring it up into the modern era. Um, also wanted to cover a little bit of a reloading system here. So what I've got here is Franke Spaz 12, of course, and uh, what uh, what a lot of people complain about is the fact that you have to press the bolt release to be able to feed shells into it. And most people will take and they'll turn it upside down like so, feed it, you know, like that, feed it. They'll feed it down here, you know, turn it over, feed it down here, something like that. But uh, I don't really like that. Because I mean, you're you're fully when I mean when your gun's upside down like that, you are fully out of the action. So what I like to do is a uh, little reload technique. I'm dubbing the Hartman reload technique for the Franke Spaz 12, and all it does is it involves a sling. It doesn't matter what kind of sling. This is literally a Mosin sling. So I mean it. It, it doesn't take much and you don't have to have the large combat bolt release although it does help um, it's less comfortable to do with the release on it with the big release on it but um, you don't have to um, it, it's, it's a little less finicky so the way this goes is you just arm through the sling. This is how you carry the gun all the time, right? So we'll do that again. I don't know if I was in frame. So arm through the sling, just like you were going to stabilize for a longer shot, right? Except it's a, it's a little loose, just a little bit. And that allows you to slide your hand backwards and rest the gun on top of your shoulder. Okay? When you do that, it doesn't take anything at all the weight of the gun presses the bolt release for you so you can feed it right no big deal just you know whatever yeah you're feeding them singles but I'd rather have a steady stream of singles going in the gun than fumbling two at a time. So, I mean, that's that's kind of that's 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 uh, my technique that I've I've come up with there. Um, what I was loading just then was some birdshot, by the way. All this is most of this is federal flight control. I just swapped this out because we're about to do a, a uh, reliability test. And um, anyway, so I'm going to go ahead. And just finish this up right here. That one. So there's there's a full reload. Now I'm gonna just put the gun aside so I can really talk to you here. The uh, system I've got here. These are just AR-15 mag pouches. That's all that is. It's an AR-15 mag pouch with a um, has a drain hole in the bottom. Uh, let's see here. Let's get a little lower for you. Has a drain hole in the bottom, and um, <clears throat> the idea here is that these these are nine round shot cards. That is a one full reload for a Spaz 12. I can carry eight. And uh, what I've done here is I've just put Velcro on the front of these mag pouches so that you can peel them, you peel it, drop it, grab, and restick. So pull out shotgun shell cards just like the KST KSG rapid response rig or whatever um, that those fine folks made by whoever company it was uh, inspired by them but this is for a spaz 12 so there you go this would also work for basically anything that has an 8 plus 1 capacity so anyway that's the um, this is the reload technique you just get the uh, get the sling just a little bit loose, just a little bit, and then you can load it. Just easy as that. 
and this way you are I mean you at any given time you can just transition come up boom transition so you're loading 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 this is this is loaded now so I'm not gonna mess with it too much but um, any given moment oh come up boom there you are on target so anyway that's the uh, the whole idea here the only downfall of this rig here is it kind of gets caught on the sling a little bit but you know nothing's perfect so still working on this but anyway um, that about does it you know so that is the reload technique the Hartman reload method and uh, I'll see you on the next video